why does the black man serve the white man? Why does everything the black man do benefit the white man? Why does the black man say freedom is doing what I want to do? And why is it that everything he wants to do enriches the European? Welcome to the desert of the real. This is Hollop from Brooklyn. All right, what's going on, bro? What's up? How everybody doing? Hey. Daps, Hollop, Daps. Fine, how are you? <laughs> hey, what's hey. up, baby? Hey, hey. how are you? I haven't heard from you in a while. I know. <laughs> Main thing. Yeah, I just wanted to say after Mark was hogging the mic, um... <laughs> uh-huh. I'm picking the Giants... Because fuck the Cowboys. <laughs> oh man! Oh my God, man! Thank you. I'll never, I will never pick the Cowboys over the Giants under any. I don't care if the Giants was the worst team in the NFL. I'm still picking them over the bitch ass Cowboys. Oh my God! <laughs> I gotta give them. A, I That's all I have to say. Oil, <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness. Hold on, Shots man. Hold on. Hold on. I want to. I want to ask Marshall something because this, I want to ask him something that 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 really kind of it kind of burns my ass a little bit. I, and I like to think of Marshall as, as a rational, intelligent uh, Dallas Cowboy fan, if there ever was one. But you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna throw that at you. Now, my thing is this: as part of our group on Facebook, you know, the Real and Sports Talk in the Paint. I'm sure, I'm sure that you have seen the, the, the war of words between myself and this guy named Bigger Don. Okay. You mean that, you mean that fool? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's been talking a lot of, a lot of stuff. I mean, and, and listen, mm-hmm. what he's got to realize is it's a long season. Certainly, yeah. I would like the Cowboys to be, represent us in the Super Bowl. I'm not going right. to lie, okay? But right. There have been many teams that have had good records, and I'm and I'm mm-hmm. looking at you, Kansas City Chiefs. Mm-hmm. And guess what happens? You yes, lose sir. in the playoffs. They thank you. And it's happened more than once. Right. In fact, it even happened to Dallas. I dare say it. Versus mm-hmm. those New York Football Giants, because right. Tony Romo well <laughs> him had to throw the, the obligatory interceptions, <laughs> and he did. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Mm-hmm. Right. But they even made Tom Brady throw the uncomfortable too with that pass rush. So right. Yeah, I went there. I'm sorry, but my girlfriend's a, a, a Patriots fan, and she doesn't oh, like boy. the Giants too much either. She's a smart woman. You say yeah, I even bought her a Gronkowski jersey too. <laughs> you just you just score points with somebody. <laughs> you know. But yeah, I mean, it's just mm-hmm. listen. I mean. You just got to let the winning streak play out because, and take it one game at a time. That's what you have to do because there are many, many teams who have had the best record. In fact, even the Giants have done this to Green Bay, if you all remember, a few years ago. Because one of my friends, who is a Bears fan, hates the Packers, called Aaron Rodgers discount double choke from the commercials. Yes. (laughs) The Giants went into Lambeau Field. I probably got some laughs on that. (laughs) Right. Went into Lambo and they beat not I think not once but twice. Did they, am I not mistaken about that? You're right. I think you're correct. You're exactly. Right. Let you're me right. say it's correct. Mm-hmm. Also, most recently, Carolina was fifteen and one. Mm-hmm. That came up a little bit short. Lost the Super Bowl. Exactly. Exactly. I got another question. Um, okay. Is is Marshall is is Dak are Dak and Ezekiel Hall of Fame material? Is it's too early for that, right? Oh my it's goodness. Way Are you really too asking that early. question? Rookie of the year certainly right. is is uh, is certainly not far fetched. No. Hall right. of Fame is got to be wait till you get to where Tom Brady is mm-hmm. and Jason Witten, who will certainly be in the Hall of Fame and I think we can all agree there. When, sure. when he retires. 
Wait till you I'm, get I'm to that you. level mm-hmm. before you start talking about being in Tron and Canton. Mm-hmm. Wow. Are you sure you're a Cowboys fan? Because you sound reasonable. Exactly. Right. Because well, I've been a Cowboys fan since I was eight years old. Mm, okay. okay. You got to remember the 70s, right? Who are the teams that dominated? Steelers, Cowboys. Yeah. yeah right. Kind of one or the other. Of course, you guys. Exactly. Unfortunately, your Giants were not as good that back then until right. a certain. Oh, Bill Parcells maybe uh, came in there and turned things around. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, it, the truth is true. But uh, true. that's who you went with. And that's, of course, you know, I always like Roger Staubach. Of course, they've had some great players. I mean,. Uh, of course, I'm kind of loyal. And, and here's the other thing: if you're not a loyal, if you don't know what the meaning of the word one in fifteen or the, the numbers mean as a cowboy fan, then you need to sit down and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this this is refreshing. This is refreshing on a rainy night here in New York. Commentary, reasonable commentary. Because most knowledge. of the time, well, most of the What's time, that? we have to start calling institutions and stuff for people because they're delusional. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> he is, he is, a, gem. I, I he is a diamond in the rough. 